Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my empties. Now, if you are new to YouTube or you're new to my channel, once I accumulate so many empty products, I like to share my results about them. Maybe say if I would repurchase it again or if it's something that I would recommend or something that I would not recommend and just kind of sh show things that maybe you're not aware of that are out there if you were interested in purchasing them. So let's get started. I have my candles first because the candles that I've used up, but at the same time, the jar is still filled with the candles. So the reason why that you can still see the candle in here is because I put these on my candle warmer and it just kind of just depletes the scent. You just leave it on day in and day out and it just fills your room with the aroma of whatever scent you have, but the wax basically barely melts but it gets to the point where there's no more um scent to it so this one is lilac breeze and it's from walmart and the next one is cotton candy and um it's also from walmart so all of these candles have the same results they were just set on the candle warmer and just gave scent to the house without the candle melting much it got really liquefied it nearly spilled one time so this one is wild honeysuckle and this one is strawberry lemonade and they all from Walmart all right so just right off the bat I went in the bathroom to accumulate the things I had my two trash cans here with all of the empties in it but I just went in the bathroom and just rounded up the stuff that was lying around that I knew that was empty so that I wouldn't forget it and sometimes the products are not completely empty. I just know that they're not going to work for me or I know that they're like having a negative effect. So I won't be um, using them or completing, completing them. So sometime you'll find that in, in the empties video. So we're going to start off with this Yes to Blueberries. And this is just some travel makeup wipes. And I really love the texture of the wipe and I love the scent of the wipe. This is a makeup. This is NYX Angel Angel Veil face primer. I don't know what to say about it. I didn't love it, but I know a lot of YouTubers rant and rave about it. So then I have this deodorant, which I put in a fails video, which is Arm Ham Hammond Essential Deodorant with natural deodorizers. No aluminum, no parabens, and it's supposed to be unscented, but it's a horrible scent. And it's one of these type of deodorants not the um, solid kind. Well, it's solid, but a see-through looking one. And it smells horrible. I have another makeup product, which is from Hard Candy. And this is the Matte Sheer Envy Mattifying Setting Spray that controls oils, minimizes pores. I got it because of the minimizing pores. I don't have an oil problem. And I thought I wanted the mattifying, but my foundation is all already mattifying. So mattifying up on top of mattifying was not good for my normal skin. So I've completed that and I got that at Walmart. Opti White Colgate Toothpaste, which is pretty much my holy grail. And um, I would recommend this. And it's an Express White Toothpaste. It was a brow kit. And I basically used the dark part. I'm afraid to open it because I don't want to get on me. I used the dark part to contour with and this part I had no use for it. It wasn't in my plan to use at all. So basically this is finished. Aphogy, and this is a balancing moisturizer, a three minute moisturizer, I guess. And um, I don't know, I'm not happy about it, but a lot of people speak well of that. I have the L'Oreal Maybelline Infallible in number 112 foundation, which is a holy grail. There's a trace left in it. But for the most part, it's empty, but I'm going to try to squeeze that trace out, guys. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in. 